What's up everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Game Dev. In this episode I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add some more uh, attributes in here to our vertex data so that we can alter uh, textures and stuff from vertex to vertex if we need to. So first up what we're going to be doing is we're going to get rid of this U color here and we're going to change it to a type varying. And it's still going to be a vec4 and we'll call it v call. Now this value is going to be only set from in the uh, the vertex shader here, it's not actually going to be accessible anywhere else. Let's also change this to vcall and take out that comment. Uh, we'll also need to create a varying field here. Type vec4 vcall. Now you use varyings in case you just want to change some data based on the actual vertex. Uh, so you set them inside the vertex shader and then you access them in the fragment shader. They can't be set anywhere else. And we'll create our attribute here, vec4 a call. And then we'll just set it down here. V call is equal to A call. Okay, that's all we need to do for the shader today. Uh, now in the main, let's actually get some variables up here because we're going to be adding more data to the vertex. So we will need to be changing these zero and zero here uh, to what they should have. So first off, let's just say how many bytes are in a float and that's going to be four. So let's just make that a constant bytes bytes per float and we'll also do uh, floats per vertex and that's going to be seven after this because we have the three for the position xyz and then we have the four for color we'll have those up there uh, now we need to do we need to get the actual color data like we did with this so we'll say call location and actually just get rid of this one and it's going to be equal to a call and then we'll need to enable it here get rid of this one okay and get rid of this call location and get rid of this actually before i do that i'm going to take this color right here that we set and i'm actually just going to add it into here and we'll add it there as well and right here and we're going to change these around uh, just so that the color is represented differently. Like the second one, well actually let me change the first one. Change the second one to a one, four, four, and then the third one. Just so the color is differently, you can see that it's represented in the actual vertex data. Uh, next, well, the last thing that we need to do is actually change this vertex a trip pointer because we have the pointer for our post location, but we need one for our call location as well. Okay. In this one, the second value is going to be four because we have four different numbers for that vertex data. Uh, we also need to change these zero and zero. Now this first one here is going to be equal to the floats, floats per vertex times the bytes. So this is just going to be the total size of the uh, whole line here. And then the second one here is going to be equal to zero times uh, bytes per float. So that's just going to be the index that this post location starts at in there. So the same thing goes for the second one, so let's just copy these out. This first variable we don't need to change, but this one starts at 3, because we have 0, 1, 2, and then 3 is where the, the color starts. That should be everything here, so if we hit play, we should have our nice little triangle, but it should be alternating colors. Second monitor here. There you go, you see one is red, one is blue, one is green, and then we have gradients in between them. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to change some resizing to this uh, canvas here, just so it's a little bit bigger and can actually see what's going on. So let's actually just hard code a width in here of, say, 980, and oops, height of, like, 550, just for now. And we'll set up a resizing function in here. Uh, we will want to have a... Uh, static const int game width and we'll set that to like 420 and a static const int game height and we'll set that to 240 just for now so we have some some variables to work with here uh we'll also need to do a resize function i'm gonna put that and move these up here right here. Void resize. So the int width 
is going to be equal to window dot inner width in height is going to be equal to window dot inner height and we'll say double x scale is equal to the width divided by the game width and double y scale we'll do height divided by game height I'll just set up the scale variables and we'll say if x scale is less than y scale then we're going to scale it on the height side so int new height is equal to game height times x scale dot floor and let's just set the attribute of it now canvas dot set attribute style width is equal to width this right here is actually a method that, or not a method, but it's a way that we can access variables inside a string literal. So we don't actually have to close the string and then append the actual variable. We can just set it right inside there without actually doing it. And you just do that with the number or the uh, dollar sign and then a curly brace. So let's do that. And then pixels and then let's do height is equal to game height times x scale pixels left is going to be equal to zero pixels and top is going to be equal to height minus new height over two pixels okay so that's that and now let's just copy this down here else uh, but now it's going to be width here and it'll be game width and y scale here say new width and this will be for the left variable now right here we'll say width minus new width over two uh, the height this time is just going to be height and the width is going to be game width times y scale okay so that's that uh, and last we actually need to call that so let's do it in the start right here let's say window dot on resize dot listen and event and we will forward that event to the resize function now if we run it, you should see the, the actual window will be nice and big. Maybe the size here. If we resize it along the uh, x-axis, you'll see that it maintains that size. And on the y-axis, it does the same. So see you guys next episode when we actually turn this into a quadrilateral um, instead of just a triangle. That should be nice and fun. So see you guys then.